Tonight, we're learning more about the cyclist killed Saturday while riding on the St. John's Bridge. Welcome to Coin 6 News at 6. I'm Chris Holmstrom. The fatal crash shut down the bridge for several hours and it has resulted in negligent homicide charges. Jennifer Dowling joins us now with the details from Portland. Good evening, Jennifer. Good evening. He was from Northeast Portland. His name, Mitchell York, and he was 55 years old and a dedicated cyclist. Now, police say that he had logged about 500 miles a week on his bike. He was killed by 42 year old Joel Aaron Schrantz of North Portland. Schrantz was booked in the Multnomah County Jail on the charge of criminally negligent homicide, and he will be arraigned on Monday. Investigators said that Schrantz was driving his 1995 Toyota 4Runner when he stopped at a red light on Northwest Bridge Avenue at the entrance to the St. John's Bridge. When the light turned green, Schrantz accelerated, according to police, into the curve and lost control. The SUV began to fishtail as he turned onto the bridge, and he reportedly slid into the other lane where he hit York. York was thrown from his bike and unfortunately hit by another car traveling westbound. Investigators say the rear tires on the SUV were bare with no traction. They say this made it unsafe to drive and they say Schrantz was aware of this dangerous condition on his vehicle. We talked to ODOT about the situation. Take a listen. We're going to look at the police report, find out what happened on the bridge to see if there's anything in the design that could have changed things in here. This report from the police indicates that a motorist lost control. I don't know whether an additional bike lane would have made any difference in that bridge, but that's one of the things we're going to be looking into in the days ahead. We dug into Schrantz's history with law enforcement. He has received driving violations in the past, including failing to perform the duties of a driver, causing property damage, and fleeing or attempting to elude a police officer. Both of those are misdemeanors. He's also been cited for driving while uninsured and driving on a revoked or suspended license. He's also been cited for speeding. This is the 30, 35th traffic fatality in Portland. Of course, Vision Zero tries to get it down to zero, but this adds to that total. Back to you, Chris. Okay, Jennifer, thank you for that update.